Thank you for purchasing a Janome machine. This machine offers such distinctive features as automatic thread cutter, easy set bobbin, easy bobbin winder, two-way speed control, worldwide auto voltage power system, and much more. We're sure you'll be glad you chose a Janome machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Basic Operation Connecting the Power Supply This machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you wish to use the foot control, insert the pin connector into the jack on the machine. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the machine plug into the machine and the power supply plug into the power outlet. Machine Operating Buttons the five machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start-Stop button. Press the Start-Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note that the Start-Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button again while the machine is running will slow down the machine and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse button. The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed when straight stitches and zigzag stitches are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically if the Auto Lock button is pressed when straight stitches and zigzag stitches have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up-Down Button Press the Needle Up-Down button to bring the needle to the up or down position. Thread Cutter Button Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick thread or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the face cover. Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. 
extra spool pin. Use the extra spool pin when you need to wind the bobbin without unthreading the machine. Insert the extra spool pin into the hole beside the horizontal spool pin. Place a spool of thread on it and secure the spool with the spool holder. Winding the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Turn the power switch on. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin like this. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pull it along the guide slot. Draw the thread around and to the back of the thread guide. Firmly pull the thread to the right with your hands. Hold the thread with both hands and wind it around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. The bobbin mark will appear on the LCD screen. Start the machine. Stop the machine when the bobbin is fully wound and stop spinning. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin. Cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin with your fingertip so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide paths marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. The thread will be cut to a suitable length and held in place. Attach the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Turn the power switch on. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot. Hold the thread with both hands and pass the thread into the guide slot. Still holding the thread with your hands, draw the thread firmly around the corner and towards you along the channel. Pull it down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Slide the thread behind the needle bar thread guide from the left. Needle threader. Lower the presser foot. Push the threader knob down slowly as far as it will go. The hook comes out through the needle eye and the threader is held in the down position. Pull the thread down under the left thread guide and then pass it from left to right under the hook. Draw the thread around the right thread guide towards you. Raise the knob slowly and a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the end of the thread through the needle eye to the rear. Now you can start sewing. 
However, you need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches, etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Raising and lowering the presser foot. The presser foot lifter raises and lowers the presser foot. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you to change the needle plate or place thick fabrics under the foot. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up and the presser foot mark is blinking on the LCD screen. Replacing the presser foot. A variety of presser feet are included as standard accessories with this machine. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot. Press the red button on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the presser foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Adjusting the foot pressure. Depending on the sewing conditions, the foot pressure should be adjusted. The dial has seven setting positions from one to seven, so you can fine tune the foot pressure. For general sewing, set the foot pressure dial at five. To reduce the pressure, set the dial at a lower number. Set the dial at a higher number to increase the pressure. Thread Tension This machine features a semi-auto tension control setting, which covers a wide range of sewing conditions. Set the tension control dial at auto for general sewing. However, you may need to adjust the tension manually depending on sewing conditions such as the type of fabric and number of layers. Turn the dial to a higher number to increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn it to a lower number. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever towards you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Practical Sewing Selecting Stitch Patterns This machine offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. The flip-up reference chart helps you identify all the patterns at a glance. These patterns are classified into modes for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show straight stitch 1 in mode 1 has been selected. Using the buttonhole opener, press the mode key to select your desired mode. Enter two digit pattern numbers with the number keys to select the desired pattern. The LCD screen will show the mode number, pattern number, recommended foot, stitch image, preset stitch width, and length. Altering Stitch Length and Width Stitch length and width are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern. However, you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch length, press the Stitch Length Adjusting key. To alter the stitch width, press the Stitch Width Adjusting key. For straight stitches, you can move the needle drop position by pressing the stitch width adjusting key. 
Buttonholes. There are various types of buttonholes available. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole and push the holder to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. Attach the buttonhole foot. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the foot. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle and lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After sewing several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Advanced Sewing Techniques Selecting Letters and Numbers Press the Mode key to choose Mode 3, 4, or 5 for Letters and Numbers. Select the desired character by pressing the number keys. Programming a Pattern Combination Let's try to program a pattern combination. Select Mode 3 and select pattern number 12, uppercase letter B. Then press the memory key to memorize letter B. Select Mode 2 and select pattern number 64. Press the memory key to memorize the pattern. Select pattern number 64 again and press the mirror image key. Press the memory key to memorize the mirror image of the pattern. Select mode 3 and select pattern number 13, uppercase letter C. Press the memory key. Start the machine to sew the pattern combination. Editing a pattern combination. Press the left arrow of the cursor key to shift the cursor to the left. Press the right arrow of the cursor key to shift the cursor to the right. Shift the cursor under the pattern you wish to delete. Press the clear key and the pattern above the cursor will be deleted. Press the clear key again. To insert a pattern, shift the cursor under the pattern next to the place where you wish to insert patterns. Select the pattern and press the memory key. The selected pattern will be inserted before the cursor. Care and Maintenance Before carrying out any maintenance or cleaning, be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Replacing the needle. Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not bent or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is bent or blunt. Loosen the needle clamp screw with the screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. 
It is recommended to clean the hook area, automatic thread cutter device, and the inside of the thread guide at least once a month. Cleaning the hook area. Remove the needle and the presser foot holder. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Remove the set screws on the needle plate with a screwdriver. Remove the needle plate and take out the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush and wipe it with a cloth. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter device, and hook race with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook race with a cloth. Replace the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Attach the needle plate. Tighten the screws securely with a screwdriver. Attach the needle and presser foot. Cleaning the inside of the thread guide. Remove the thread guide plate by pulling it up. Clean the area around and under the pretension leaf with the lint brush. Remove lint and dust from the brush on the underside of the thread guide plate using the lint brush. Set the thread guide plate on the machine, inserting the tenons into the slots. Wipe the machine using a soft cloth soaked in warm water and mild detergent. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.